Hello viewers, today I am going to show you how to do a steroid injection for trigger finger. Now trigger finger is an extremely common condition in orthopedic clinic and it usually involves 1 to 2 percent of normal population but if you are a diabetic uh, then the incidence of uh, this is quite high and it has been quoted up to 10 percent and it can also involve more than one finger. Now the treatment for these if it is becoming symptomatic is one shot of steroid injection and if it makes it better then it's fine otherwise if there is a recurrence or if you don't see any improvement then surgery or release of the A1 pulley is the only option. So today I am going to demonstrate you how to do a steroid injection safely without any complications. So if you have a trigger finger you will usually report pain across this area. So here, 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 these are the areas where you will have pain and if you feel, you will feel a nodule or a lump and once you feel the lump and if you have a pain in early stages that might be the only symptom and that is quite classic for trigger finger. In later stages if you bend and open your fingers, close and open your fingers then you might feel a sense of catching. So your finger will flex like this and then when you extend you will send Sense, a sense of catching or triggering and hence it is called trigger finger. In later stages your finger may bend and then you may have to use your other hand to extend it and in final stages even with your finger you won't be able to extend so that is probably the last stage and then that, that the diagnosis is very um, easy at that stage but in early stages pain here and nodule here is quite classic. So now if you have to do the injection, now this is your metacarpal, these are the flexor tendons and this is I have drawn an A1 pulley. So now you want to inject your solution between A1 pulley and just outside the flexor tendon. So what we do is, once we have given the local anesthetic, we will go vertically in, vertically in till we are in the tendon and once we are in the tendon we will ask patient to flex and extend or bend or extend the finger the affected finger and once they bend or extend because needle is in the tendon and as they will bend and extend the needle will move and you will see movement of the needle and that will tell you that this is within the tendon and once you see that all you need to do is to withdraw the needle slightly so that they are just outside this tendon and then ask them to move again and once they move then because now the needle is outside the tendon that movement of the needle will disappear that will tell you you are in this space and once you are happy then keep this needle still and then instill and this will go across your A1 pulley and will flood this area and will deliver uh, this in the target area. So we will, I will demonstrate this when we will do this injection now. So our patient is now uh, prepped, we have cleaned the whole hand with betadine and then we have washed it uh, with some alcohol solution. So that is extremely important that you take care of uh, asepsis. Now you can straight away go and inject, um, I am giving some local today uh, so as to reinforce uh, the finding or the procedure that I talked about. So first thing is that I'm just going to take some local. So if you feel here, I can just feel a nodule there. And this is the finger that she's having trouble. So I'm just going to pierce the skin and then just slowly give some local in that area. Once you have given local anesthetic or if you want to go straight, um, this is the area where I feel the nodule. Normally, if you mark the distance from this metacarpophalangeal joint crease till PIP crease, this distance, if you reverse it on this direction, this is where your pulley is. So we're just going to clean this area, go vertically, straight in, and then you ask the patient to move the finger. So at this point of time, patient is moving the finger, but our needle is not moving. So 
now you can see just just, just gently ask her to move, move the finger you can see can you see that my needle is moving that means that we are within the tendon so i'm just going to withdraw it slightly and you can see that i am not this needle or the syringe is not moving that means we are not within the tendon and keep the position still and gently inject the steroid and this way you will find almost no resistance because you are not in the tendon and you are injecting between the a1 pulley and outside just outside the tendon done it that should be the end of the procedure and this is how you give the steroid injection for a trigger finger so we was this was a demonstration on how to safely do an injection uh, for patients i think uh, my message is uh, you should have this injection only if your earlier treatment with uh, uh, physiotherapy and non inflammatory medications have not worked if you want it a steroid injection you can only have once uh, don't get it repeated because repeated injections uh, increase the risk of uh, flexor tendon rupture so i would only inject once and if you have a recurrence or if the patient doesn't get better then a small operation in form of uh, a1 pulley release is uh, the best option and i have also uploaded a video for the same uh, if you like this video give us a thumbs up do subscribe and do share our channel thank you